Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Hard Reset. This game normally costs $20, but my cheap ass got it for 5 Hard Reset comes to us from Flying Wild Hog, who, in addition to having an amazing name for their game design company, has a ton of veterans on staff from games like Painkiller, Bulletstorm, and The Witcher 2. These guys are based out of Poland, and man, Poland just seems to be the place for game design right now. I keep finding these little these little nooks of amazing game design, like Poland. There's a lot of stuff going on in Australia that's interesting. You've got Critical Mass down there, as well as Hitbox and a few others. So, Poland blowing up in the game development, huh? Yeah, so... Flying Wild Hogs' debut game, Hard Reset, is amazing. It's just fantastically amazing. It was recently part of the Indie Royale, and I hope you bought it then. Because if you didn't, well, shame on you. That was an amazing chance to get an amazing deal on an amazing game. So let's go ahead and jump into the game, and I'll show you guys why you should install it and play it if you already own it or why I think this game is worth the full price at 20 bucks if you have indeed not purchased it. So we're going to take a look at an early level here, and this will do, this will do. So normally these things are introduced via a uh, comic book style cutscene, sort of a motion comic. Uh, it's fully voice acted. The voice acting is spotty. Uh, the main character is pretty good. The other supporting characters can be iffy. I'm looking for a word that's not offensive, and I, cho I chose iffy. So uh, basically, the game is uh, a cyberpunk, dystopian, end of the world sort of futuristic shooter. This is an original engine that they've created, the Roadhog engine. I mean, this is what the hell? A brand new company consisting of veterans from some amazing games making an original engine to put out a PC exclusive FPS for $20. It's just amazing. I mean, this game has, has sat on my hard drive waiting to be played for a long time and I should have played it ages ago. I really, really enjoyed this game once I fired it up and I didn't even know what I had been missing. So uh, you got a couple of weapons in this game. You have got this uh, machine gun and you've got this energy gun. And uh, generally speaking, you want to blow shit up in this game. Tons of stuff in the environment explodes. A lot of things will also help you kill enemies. So that's really, really cool. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, blow some stuff up. If it's orange and has sort of a explosion thing on it, then it probably blows up. So let's blow stuff up. Oh my lord. Robot. Well, that guy is intent on doing me harm. Okay. Alright, die little robot. There you go. Whew. Alright. Well, that could have gone worse. I uh, still see some orange stuff, so let's blow that shit up too. There we go. And uh, using the environment is key. Uh, you can get a lot of really impressive kills using the environment. Uh, there's a little bit of a tutorial as you first start the game on using the environment to help you get kills. You can shoot things like little kiosks. Uh, well, if I can find one that's not already been exploded. <laughs> you can shoot, of course, things that say explosive on them. Yeah, this little kiosk. So I can shoot that and it will uh, grab enemies, electrocute them, hold them in place for just a second. Very, very nice and effective there. Oh, look, it's some sort of an explosive barrel and a crack in the wall. The classic old-school universal FPS, there's a secret hidden here clue, a crack in the wall. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, and another. Boom. Yikes. So the uh, orange bits that I'm collecting are uh, nanos. They fill up my upgrade meter, and eventually when I get enough of them, uh, I will have the ability to upgrade my weapons. Just, I just, I'm a completionist like that. I just want to blow everything up. So, 
moving forward here in this amazing city. I love what they've done with the with the verticality of the city. I love this. I love the look. I love looking up and just seeing all this business going on. There are transports. There are little individual, you know, flying cars. <laughs> there are lights. There's all these signs. I mean, this is right out of Blade Runner. This could be uh, Blade Runner the game. It could be a Shadowrun game. Any of you guys who are big fans of Shadowrun, I know some of you out there are bound to be. You know, this game is just, it's firing on all cylinders when it comes to classic cyberpunk fare. It's hitting all the right spots. I mean, you've got a freaking energy weapon. Look at the cars. You know, that's, yeah, that's a straight up cyberpunk future car. All right, let's see. Oh, I hear, yeah, I hear little robots. There we go. A little bit of an environmental kill for you there so you can see how that goes. And as I say, it's just easier to use the environment than it is to uh, to sit there and shoot those guys one at a time. Something I'll tell you about this game, it does sort of forego some of the typical uh, FPS uh, standbys. Like, uh, there's no reloading, so I constantly find myself hitting R. And luckily, R doesn't actually do anything. So, if it did, I would constantly be doing that because I'm always trying to reload after a fight. But uh, that's one of the things, too, and as well as the weapons. Uh, you have two main weapons and then those weapons can be branched into additional weapons. So essentially you're choosing between your ballistic weapon and your energy weapon, and then you're choosing different weapons within that tree. So uh, we've got an energy barrier here that means we can't bring a weapon through. Uh, luckily, the power supply that powers anything and everything in this city is uh, clear plastic tubing with blue energy running through it. So it's always very obvious where something's getting its power. So we'll just take care of that. And the last thing I want to show you on this level is the ability to upgrade. You get this amazing virtual reality HUD that pops up, and then you get the ability to upgrade your weapons. So we take a look here. Uh, this is our ballistic weapon, and we have some different options. Grenade launcher, shotgun, RPG, and proximity mines. We can also do uh, upgrades to our standard assault rifle. But let's go ahead and just get the uh, shotgun... Yeah, I'm going to show you some gameplay later on where I already have a grenade launcher, so we'll take a look at the shotgun right now. Shotgun. So that's it. We only had one point for upgrade, and he's going to tell us that we can now use a shotgun. And there it is. Ooh, nice. Very nice. I've never actually used the shotgun. There it is. I like that. I love the mechanical cocking action on the gun. Feels a little weird to say I love the mechanical cocking action, but uh, yeah, I do. I love the mechanical cocking action of this gun. I want to sing that to the rafters. I absolutely love the mechanical cocking action of this gun, and I think you will too. All right, let's go check out a later level so that you guys can see uh, some more intense combat as I try very hard not to die and embarrass myself. So here we go. Load game, and yeah, we'll take this one. So again, in this scenario, uh, it is a dystopian future. Mankind on the brink of extinction. We are in the last human city, Bezor, and we are attempting to preserve humanity. Robots want to destroy us, and naturally as robots do, uh, because they've reached their evolutionary peak. The robots cannot get any smarter or any more efficient, and they need the essence of a human. We have apparently stored human beings' brains or thoughts or whatever uh, in this place called the Sanctuary, and the robots want to get that so that they can use the, uh, the human brain patterns or whatever to uh, become more intelligent, to actually evolve to the next level. So uh, they're pretty desperate to uh, actually kill us all and take our precious brain waves. <laughs> Yes. There's an example of the somewhat dodgy voice acting. You know, you have to get to the other side. You know, it's just it's just not quite natural. Uh, as I say, the main character's voice acting in the cutscenes between levels is generally pretty pretty tight. But uh, that guy in particular, the guy who pops up to give you helpful hints, he's usually not. So uh, I've got a couple of different weapons here at this point. I've got the grenade launcher. Uh, here you can see I'm switching between standard and grenade launcher. And I've also got a really cool uh, 
energy grenade launcher, essentially, on my energy weapon. We're going to be taking a look at that right now, because I'm about to be attacked. Oh, good lord. And uh, this game almost borders on a horror game at times. Oh, my lord. That's not nice. You know, things jump out of you, out at you, blind corners. It, it, it's... There have been some instances where I have nearly crapped my pants. There you go. Just die, you bastards. Okay. Okay, lots of ammo lying around, lots of health. That's good, I need it. Some nanos there. Alright, so the controls in this game are tight. Everything looks really great. The game runs really, really well. Visually, of course, I think you know that I'm orgasmic about it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful game. I mean, everything about this is so right where it should be. I mean, that blimp job up there with signs on it. I mean, that had to be in Blade Runner, right? And I don't say that in a bad way. I'm not saying, oh, they stole that from Blade Runner. I'm saying, like, that's awesome. Thumbs up. That looks like it would be in Blade Runner. I got no problem with that because Blade Runner was amazing. Oh man, this game, it just, it fires on all cylinders. And to be a, a, a debut game from a new publisher, from a new development studio, that is insane. Oh my lord. Okay, you stand there and get electro grenaded. There you go. Okay, okay. Anybody left alive? Anybody left alive? I'm hoping not. There we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Too much aggression. Yee. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Whew. Oh, don't breathe. <laughs> don't take that deep breath yet. That guy's not dead. Oh, my lord. Okay. Okay. Wow, I didn't really take much damage. That's good. I'm feeling like I'm, I'm competent all of a sudden. <laughs> I love FPS, but sometimes I'm just not that great at them. I'll, sit, I'll stand there and fire right beside an enemy for, you know, 30 seconds before I realize, oh, yeah, move to the side, idiot. Uh, anything else? Anything else here? Not going to jump at me. I'm sure something else is going to jump at me. Oh, there's no way that nothing is going to run after me. Something's going to... Oh, let's... oh, is that a secret? This game is filled to the brim with secrets. There are little secret areas everywhere, little opportunities to get extra nanos. And it's just... It, it's a classic FPS in that way. You know, little secrets, typical things like cracks in walls, tons of explosive stuff, lots of enemies... It's, it's wonderful. It's amazing. I mean, I think you guys can see that for yourself, and if you can't... Are you blind? <laughs> have you checked your eyes? Do you wear glasses and you don't have them on right now? I mean, this game is wonderful. I really, really love it. I can't recommend this game any more than I already have. I mean, I think you guys understand how I feel about this game. I think it's just... It's the bee's knees, for lack of a better term. <laughs> so let's go up here and get ambushed by a few more guys, and then we will call it quits. Make sure I got the right weapon. Yes, I do. Oh, my lord. Yikes. Oh, you need to die. All of you guys need to die. Okay. Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. So, yeah, here you have it. Hard reset. You've probably heard about it. Now you should own it. If you don't already, please, please, please support this amazing developer. I really, really cannot give them much more of a thumbs up a little secret over here, than I already have. It's a wonderful game. It is definitely worth your time, definitely worth your money. Take a look at it. Hard reset from Flying Wild Hog. Oh my lord. Don't have time for this. I'm trying to outro this video. Oh, take that. I blew your arm off. Yeah, what you think about that? That's right. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.
Oh, hey guys, in case you think I forgot, we actually are giving away a copy of this game. I mentioned that last week, and uh, I wanted to, you know, we get the true believers who stick around for the last few seconds of the video and uh, tell you guys that you need to head over to BigDaveIsCheap.com and look for the contest to enter to win this game. It's a modest contest. It's only going to go on a few days. After that, somebody will win my spare copy of Hard Reset. All right. Hope you watch the video closely because there was probably a hint in this video that will allow you to get the answer to win the game. All right, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.